flamingo, we all think of as like our vacation bird, right? You go on a cruise, there's a flamingo in your drink. You're in Florida, you're at Disney, I wish. Flamingos, right? You think of them as plastic decorations in retirement homes. And you know what? I would say I agree with that. I think that the one place that they should be should be there. And you'll know why by the end of this conversation. So the flamingo we associate as being also dainty. She's pretty. She's pink. She has these long stoic legs and kind of comical. Lives a beautiful life where it's five o'clock somewhere, everywhere for them. They live by beautiful waters. They enjoy little dips and shrimp, not dips like the type you eat, but dips into that beautiful water and the oasis that they live near. And they dine on shrimp and it's always sunny, right? That's what we associate flamingos with. I am here to tell you, flamingos have more in common with us military spouses. Because although people romanticize the world we must live as we move from place to place, oh my lord, my shoulders hurt. As we move from place to place, we get to experience new cultures, dine on different foods, we live this romantic life. We well, you know, it's not always like that. And the same is true for our friend, the flamingo. You see, the flamingo is not about that oasis life all of the time. Oh no, my friend. The flamingo, let's change my grips here. The flamingo can be found 17,000 feet above sea level. 17,000 feet. They always live near wetlands. So in the 17,000 feet above sea level, Girl, it gets cold. It gets cold at night. And these flamingos freeze into their water. So they're standing there, having themselves a five o'clock cocktail. Sun goes down, temperatures drop, water freezes. They freeze right there. When the sun comes up, as it always does, starts to thaw out their feathers, and that water starts to thaw out. Girl, they look at their fellow flamingo friend and they're like, you ready for coffee? Let's go. And they strut their happy asses right out of that water to go on about their merry day. They are tough. So we've got them tropical oasis, you know, Florida life. We've got them in these snowy tundras. We've got them also in hot springs. And these hot springs, the water is so caustic. The water is so salty. Some even has arsenic. It is so caustic that the mere mortal's hands or skin would basically melt off. It would slough off because it is so caustic. It's so hard, but these flamingos, these badass divas, they're all up in that water. Girl, they're like, ain't gonna burn my skin. I got this. And then, not only that, girls, they get thirsty. They can drink the boiling water. So some of these hot springs are boiling level water. Like, you know, cook your pasta type of water and they are all about it, no problem. And they just drink it. So these tropical oasis birds, they are bad diggery doos. They're not meant just for that gentle life. They are fierce. They might look dainty. They might look soft. They like to strut their stuff and they should but they are anything but dainty. Don't underestimate them. They are fierce. They are strong. They are resilient. 
I don't have to tell you, I am not making this stuff up. Felicity Ornega, she is a flamingo expert at the Muse American Museum of Natural History. And all these facts are 100% true. Who would have thought? And that is why I believe the flamingo should be a lot ornament in retirement homes because they've been through stuff, right? They have lived life. They are showing us the way. I also think the flamingo should be our mascot because you are my flamingo. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are stoic. You know what, you don't show how hard things can be because we're not built like that. Ford has nothing on us. We are better than Ford Tuck. We are real spouses and we get shit done. With or without help, on a moment's notice, we pick up, we move, we roll, relocate, we adapt, we make new friends, we keep moving. Whatever's asked of us, we meet that challenge head on. And I'm here to tell you, girlfriend, you are my flamingo. So in a world full of birds, be a flamingo. Let the world think you're dainty. Let the world romanticize your life, but know inside that you are fierce. Like, you are the ultimate survivor, no matter what conditions you're moved to, no matter what circumstances you're in. You are the ultimate survivor. Hurricanes coming, you'll figure it out. You've got to pick up a move to Masawa, Japan in the snow, you'll figure it out. You'll move and two days later, deployment happens and you're there with household goods, 1,100,000 million pounds arriving at your doorstep in boxes with four kids running around and you will figure it out. No family around, you will figure it out. And for that reason, you are a freaking flamingo and a world full of birds and I love you. Thank you for being here with me during my random factory former workout. Have a wonderful week. Talk about shoulders. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, I don't know what I'm talking about.